Hello guys, I wanted to discuss with you this uh, this University of Texas uh, publication that uh, this 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 research that was done um, around the subject of uh, this around the subject of whether a, a social media um, social media posts and um, can be used uh, the language that you use in in social media. Um, can uh, be indicators and, and, a, and a solid predictor of uh, how long you'll be uh, with your significant other. Um, the idea of being that if the idea being that uh, up to three months before a breakup, um, these people at University of Texas think that they've got a pretty good. Uh, they can predict pretty well whether or not you'll be single in in, uh, in, in three months from now. So, uh, so it's a decently long window. I mean, a lot can happen of th in a, a lot can happen in three months. But they've found some uh, they found some indicators. Uh, Particular uh, uh, this study was uh, exclusive to uh, to Reddit and uh, specific to a uh, to a subreddit called Breakups. This uh, Breakups website or this breakups uh, subreddit uh, has some 140,000 followers or members, and they and they managed to uh, analyze through their through their text uh, through some text analysis um, that uh, uh, they've managed to do that with about 6,800 of those 148 thousand people so uh they they dug in they 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 ran them through this text this text processing thing text analysis uh program and they managed to find out um well and and, and of those 6800 uh reddit users of the of the larger community they they found about they analyzed uh, over a million uh over a million posts which is quite a lot um even for 6,800 6, people, um, but uh, the window is up until a year before a breakup and up until a year after a breakup, so about a two-year window, um, and so the idea is that they can uh, they can predict, given the language you use, uh, how long you'll be, you know, whether you'll be uh, breaking up in, in three months. Um, so... So yeah, they've got uh, they've got a handful they've got a handful of ways to do this. They've broken it down into about four categories: the language that's used uh, that can be that can be uh, analyzed as in, and, and found to be an indicator whether or not they'll be uh, whether or not these users are going to stay in their relationships or not. So, if you see an increase in self-focused words such as I or me or uh, an increase in collective thinking words like we or our if you see an increase in um, cognitive processing words like think or should then that's also an indicator um, and if you think and and if you see a drop in somebody's analytical thinking in their posts, which uh, in this context means which uh, this analytical thinking means it, it shows an increase in personal narratives and informal writing. So um, basically, you're less you're more you're thinking more personal. You're taking things more personally. You're writing more personally, less formally. Um, you know. You might be, you might have had a few drinks or something. I don't know, but uh, but yeah, just uh, just when you know, it it just becomes less professional your language, I suppose. Uh, and uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is all pretty fascinating. Um, and so yeah, we've got an in, we've got uh, self-focused words, analytical thinking, or analytical language, collective thinking language and cognitive uh, processing language uh, you know and these are uh, these are
these term, you know, these these categories were, were made up by uh, the, this University of Texas study, but I do think it's I do think it's pretty interesting that they're able to. Uh, I mean, if they can pull this off on uh, Reddit, being able to uh, pretty accurately predict whether or not somebody's going to be uh, in a relationship based on the language they use in their posts up until up up till three months before the breakup. Um, then that, that, then that's pretty fascinating. And that's the kind of, and I'm sure that's the kind of thing that you could replicate in other social media platforms like, uh, um, well, Google definitely, I mean, Google is more direct and personal, like with a direct relationship with you and your Google search, uh, account. And, uh, in, so, so Google definitely knows, I mean, uh, Google knows when you're going to break up like. Google, Google knows a lot. I mean, the amount of things Google knows about us, they have to know this kind of stuff. I mean, uh, so in a lot of ways, it's not that big of a shock that uh, they could do it on Reddit because this is the kind of thing that Google's been doing for, for a decade. Um, and I'm sure that they could pull this off on Facebook or Twitter or, or you know, whatever. Um, because... Uh, because we're talking about pretty, uh, you know, nobody's shocked that using, if you use words like I and me more frequently, then you're gen then you're more inwardly focused and, 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 uh, and you're, sh and, and you're probably, and you're closing up potentially if it's an increase, you know, if you're, if, 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 uh, it's one thing that's unclear is are all these people starting at the same general frequency of this kind of language like are all these people using the words i and me uh think and should we and our are they all using these words uh at about the same amount at the same frequency and then they all and then and then, you know because because it depends on where you're starting because if you already use self self uh self-directed language um regularly anyway then it's going to you know I, I don't know I don't know how much um it's going to change and if and if you and if you show no increase I mean you could you could end up using those words less while someone else could be using those words more and you guys might end up at about the same frequency of that language so uh, you know it's not a perfect uh it doesn't sound like a perfect study and it's not exactly uh groundbreaking but it it uh it, it is fascinating and uh, seeing this done um, seeing this done uh, on a university level um, and having something like this published I think is important because uh, it's not enough that Google and Facebook know this kind of stuff uh, because they do they have to there's no way Google and Facebook don't have a pretty good idea when you're going to get dumped they know when you're going to get dumped they know when, they know how many, they, I mean, they can, there's a whole slew of ways that they can tell what kind of life you live. Um, but what, it, what, what makes this interesting is that, uh, it's not just in the back pocket. Uh, it's not in, it's not just in Facebook's playbook. Uh, now it's, it's now been, um, uh, proven through a university study, which for all I know, this isn't even the first one that's been done, but it's good, but what I'm saying is that it's good to have this kind of uh, information out there for the public. You know, it's good that they're running academic studies on this kind of thing, um, and that it's and that we're talking about something objective here, uh, something that you can um, you can grasp onto. You know, we're talking about running running posts through a running th mil a million posts through a text editor. Uh, or text processor and and figure and, and calculating the frequency and, and the shift and increase or decrease of the frequency of those words um, com compare that to the NYU study that I talked about earlier which um, which uh, is highly subjective um, asking asking uh, putting it on NYU researchers you know students or pe you know people doing the research to decide whether or not there's an anti-conservative bias in social media censorship. Uh, that seems like much more uh, uh, 
subjective. Even though they had good resources, it's or even though they had a lot of uh, resources, it, it's just that this is this kind of Reddit thing. This, this kind of study seems like it's much more. Um, I mean, for one thing, there's no political bias one way or another here. Uh, conservatives don't care any more or less about whether Reddit can predict them being dumped than liberals because at the end of the day uh, who cares but it's good to know that uh, it, it, it's good to know that this kind of stuff is being done uh, and on a public uh, academic uh, level instead of being done privately behind closed doors and being talked about over a board meeting at, at Facebook or something uh, or, a, or a marketing strategy meeting so uh, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a good one.